El Salvador is a small and gorgeous Central American country that, despite having times of upheaval in the last 50 years, has continually drawn in tourists from all over with its mix of incredible nature, tasty food, impressive volcanoes, and surfing. So stay tuned as Viewcation presents the best things to do in El Salvador. El Salvador might not be a huge country, but that doesn't mean it doesn't have a ton of places to see. So we're splitting up our list geographically into East, West, and Central El Salvador. First, the East. Alegria Crater and Conchagua Volcano Ever wanted to drive inside a volcano? The Alegria Crater gives you that chance. Now, it's probably not like the volcanoes you're picturing in your mind, the super tall and cone-shaped ones. You're not going to be driving up the side of a steep mountain and falling down inside. Volcanoes actually come in a variety of shapes, and often they're shaped like a big hole, aka a crater. In the Alegria Crater, which is located to the north of Usulutan, you'll be able to drive around and check out the incredible views of the valley below. Of particular note is that the sulfur of the volcano has created Created an intense green lake. While you might not want to dive in, it's still gorgeous to look at. Amazingly enough, there's an actual restaurant at the volcano site. Grab a bite at Cartagena Vivero and Restaurant. It offers good food and a terrific vantage point to sit and check out the volcano, as well as a large variety of native birds swooping around. The Conchagua volcano is a stratovolcano that does look like the classic volcanoes in your mind. So that means you aren't going to drive up into it, but you can get quite close to it, and you don't have to worry about it erupting because it's not an active volcano. One great option is to make a day trip there from a nearby town and sleep at the base of the volcano. Another interesting thing of note about the Conchagua is that it was recently chosen by the president of El Salvador to be the location for Bitcoin City. It will theoretically be a place where the energy of the volcano is used as the sole source of power not only for the local residents but also for mining cryptocurrency. Tamarindo and Las Flores Beaches These two beaches are probably the best offerings on the east side of the country. Tamarindo is a super chill spot with very calm waters, so if you're looking to surf, go elsewhere. But if you enjoy wading into the water or scuba diving, it's a great option. And if you time your trip right, you might be able to witness sea turtle babies returning to the ocean after being born. The surfers among you will likely want to pick Las Flores Beach because of its more lively tides. But because it's El Salvador, you are also nestled within some gorgeous vegetation and wild wildlife along the coast nearby, so you get a little nature watching as you take on the waves. Bahia de Jiquilisco Finally, be sure to check out Bahia de Jiquilisco, which is a huge natural habitat and mangrove area. If you're an animal lover, you'll be wowed by the 450 species of birds in the habitat and the abundance of other wildlife. There are only seven kinds of turtles on the planet, and four of them happen to live in this habitat. There's also a monkey house, where tourists can catch action from some small primates, as well as a cacao tour to learn about how chocolate is made. Now let's switch focus to central El Salvador. San Salvador The most obvious attraction in central El Salvador is the capital, San Salvador. It's home to many gorgeous and historic churches, governmental buildings, and eateries. You shouldn't miss the San Salvador Cathedral, both because it's a beautiful church and because it has an important meaning for the country. Every year, people from all over the country and the world travel to the church to pay respect to the crypt of Oscar Romero. He was the fourth Archbishop of San Salvador and was famous for his peace activism and his passion for social justice in El Salvador. You should also see the National Palace and the National Theater. The palace was actually made into a national monument in the early 80s and is a gorgeous piece of blended architecture. It features construction in the styles of neoclassical, renaissance, and neo-gothic architecture all in one breathtaking building. And there's no charge for entry. The National Theater is the oldest in the country, as well as in all of Central America. But it's not just a relic. You can still catch impressive plays, music concerts, and more. Of course, as a major world capital, San Salvador offers so much more more than these few attractions, but we'll keep moving so you get a sense of the whole area. Before we tell you more about the best things to do in El Salvador, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Viewcation if you haven't already. Salvador Volcano and Rainbow Slide Yes, we've arrived at our third volcano of the video. This one is just outside the capital, and besides the appeal of being able to hike to a volcano, it also offers the best panoramic view of San Salvador that you can get. It's a very hikeable volcano, so a day trip up it is highly recommended. And another reward you get for hiking up top, besides the views of the city below, is that you have access to what's known as the Rainbow Slide. It's become a worldwide attraction and a must-do for anyone visiting El Salvador. It's a man-made slide of many colors, which you slide down in an inner tube. It's around 25 meters long and a ton of fun. Plus, it gives great views of the surrounding area as you slide down. Costa del Sol 
The Costa del Sol is an area on the central coast that offers gorgeous beaches, water activities, fantastic food options, and more. El Salvador has taken advantage of its growing popularity and doubled down on its attractiveness to visiting tourists. You could easily spend several days checking out the Costa del Sol. This is especially true if you're a surfer. Head to El Tunco Beach to experience possibly the best surfing in the country. It boasts waves that are equally amenable to beginners and experts, and also offers a huge variety of food food, clubs, and gorgeous scenery. It's a particularly popular spot for anyone backpacking around the area. While there, definitely check out the El Tunco Caves, which allow you to see underwater creatures in their natural habitat because they're basically shaped like small amphitheaters. Finally, let's look at West El Salvador. Ruta de las Flores The best way to see the western portion of the country is to travel along the Ruta de las Flores, also known as the Route of Flowers. You can travel along it and hit up an assortment of interesting and historical villages and towns as you go. Let's go over a couple. Ataco and Santa Teresa Hot Springs This is a fun area to visit, particularly for coffee lovers. El Salvador is known for having incredible coffee, and while in Ataco, you can take a coffee plantation tour to take a look at how your favorite morning fuel is made. But there's more than just the coffee plantations in Ataco. The town is bustling with energy, perhaps because of the coffee, and it's a great place to stroll around. It has a nice variety of shopping options, eating spots, and murals and other art strewn across the area from local artists. And once you've had your fill, of drinking coffee and wandering around the hip and friendly streets of Ataco, you'll probably want a place to relax. The Santa Teresa Hot Springs is a perfect place to soak your body for a while. It offers swimming pools, hiking trails, hot geysers, and even a blue lagoon. As such, it's become a very popular spot for tourists and locals alike. Huayua the food is the primary attraction for visitors when it comes to Huayua. It has a long tradition of culinary excellence and a regular food festival that draws in people from all over the country. Make sure you get your fill of local soups, seafood, and grilled meat dishes. It also has an abundance of waterfalls, with the highlight being the Choros de Calera waterfalls. They were at one point the source of power for the whole town. Nowadays, they serve more as a spot within the forest to stop and admire Mother Nature. Now it's time to hear from you. Have you ever been to El Salvador? Do you think you'll ever go? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Viewcation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.